Hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Like always, the purpose of my video, it is just to give you an idea about a portrait. And this video is not in the section. What are you seeing on your screen that is a double needle post machine with a split bar? It is necessary for you to have a double needle post or regular double needle machine. Well, if you do a double stitch every month or every two months, I would say it is not, it is not necessary. But if you do a, a double stitch every day or every other day, definitely you need a double needle regular or post machine. And keep in mind, no matter how much you pay for uh, your double needle machine, at the end, the machine will end in paying by itself. So, and you will be so efficient with the double needle uh, sewing machine. In this video, I will show you uh, a lot of things that you can do with the double needle sp a split bar machine that with the regular double needle machine you can't so I will show you if you are interested in this kind of machine uh, you can call uh, NC sewing machine and they have a lot of sewing machine the model of this one is NC post and it is so simple to use it if you want to lock one of those needles you have to move that bar I move it to the right and I lock the right, I move it to the left, and I lock the left needle. If I put them on the center, I will use both needles at the same time. So simple. Uh, just practice before you start using. I just want to be clear, everything that I'm going to show you on this video, you can do it in a regular single needle sewing machine. So you might be asking, what is the purpose to have this kind of machine if I can do everything in a single needle machine? Well. With this machine, you will be more efficient and that double stitch will become a uh, well done. I will show you on this machine how to put a top stitch. And this is in case if you have only two threads, I don't want to move the thread from this machine and put them on the single needle uh, machine. I just would put a top stitch. And I will show you how. I will lock one needle by pressing that bar and I will sew on the right side so simple so make sure to know how to use it before you start sewing I just will start sewing I will move the bar to the left that means I will lock the left needle and I will use in the right needle nice sewing so simple post machine I put them in a slow motion that way you can see it clearly one needle is locked then the other one is sewing a top stitch so beautiful and there is let me see the top stitch there is the thread that I am using is the T210 it's a thick thread and I am using a white color because any mistake it will be so obviously and there is with the regular double needle machine you cannot do that it has to be with the split bar of course you can do it but you have to remove one needle and that will be time remove it and then put it back later that will be time and when this one it is so simple and this uh, and this is a heavy duty sewing machine and here I will show you how you can sew those diamonds. You have to know how to manipulate or control those needles because you're going to move the bar to the left and then to the right according to the shape of the diamond that you are sewing. Okay. I am using a, a, I made like a table for this post machine because when I uh, sew in a pleat with double stitch or diamond with double stitch, I always add that uh, like a table and it is easier. Okay. I'll move the bar to the left one stitch before that mark, before the other line, one stitch before. Okay, keep going, keep going, one stitch before that line, right there. I stop, I move the bar, and I keep going two stitch, one, 
and two. Then I put them on the sender and I make sure the presser foot is on the top of the mark and I keep sewing. And right here will be the opposite. One stitch before the line, I move the part and I keep going two stitches. Then the part and I keep going. And this will be like that till you finish. One stitch before the line, move the part, lock one needle, keep going two more stitches, one, two, put the bar on the center, zero, and then I keep sewing. So simple. Of course, if you just barely buy a practice, and look at that. Look beautiful, huh? It look beautiful, I like it, so simple. And same thing right here. You have to have the perfect control of this. How to use it. Okay, same thing. I will stop one stitch before that line and I will keep going two more stitch. Then I will twist it. You can do all this on a single needle sewing machine it will take you more time and maybe those corners it will not come up perfectly and with this one it will come up perfectly I just move it to a stitch why I go to a stitch after I press the bar because I know the side of the stitch the length of the stitch Sometimes I only go one stitch and sometimes I go three stitch. Then I move it to the right and I keep going twice. Then I twist it and then I keep sewing. And there it is. You can see me right there. It make it look so easy with this machine and it is believe me it is easier it is easier of course it is money uh, right now I think it is four grand this machine but no matter how much you pay for the machine at the end that machine will pay by itself it, it will make you more efficient uh, the job will come up I will say better than I using a single needle machine and check this out you can sew a square with double stitch simple just you have to know how to use it check this out I'm going to lock the left needle because it has to be like that I just lock it and I will start sewing with one needle. And which needle will be that one? The right needle. Okay, I am using only one needle, right needle. And I will go twice. One, two, and press the part. And now the two needles are activated. And I will keep sewing all the way around okay same thing right here let's stop a stitch before move the bar to the left and I keep going two more stitch and then I twist it then put them on zero keep going and this will be repeatedly every corner then right here because I start sewing with one needle will be the same. I will stop. Here is a little bit of trick that you have to know how to do it. I lock the bar right there and I keep using one needle. 
and I stop right there. Okay, check this out. And this is just an example with a pull those uh, thread uh, behind. And I will make a knot, but this is just an ex example. This is not a real job, this is just an example. And you can see me right there. With the regular double needle machine that doesn't come with the split bar, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. Okay, here is one more thing. I'm going to put a top stitch and here is the challenge, those corner. But with this machine, it's not a big deal. You just lock one bar and you keep sewing and you will make those corners without a problem. The post, it will help you right here on back rest, uh, um, box in a cushion, or headrest, armrest. Uh, the post machine is perfect for that. Perfect. See that corner? The post machine simplify that. And this have a quarter of an inch. A thickness vinyl. Uh, this machine, because it's heavy duty, it is hard to sew in a thickness vinyl. But when the vinyl have a pattern like quarter of an inch or half inch font, it's so simple. You can feel the machine is pulling the material, pulling the material. And I just keep going, sewing. A presser foot, it is very important. It will help you to uh, have more control. And I just start sewing. And I will stop one stitch before that corner. And I will keep going two more stitch. This it is time. That area right there, it is time because you have to make it perfectly. So spend time. I will like one bar, one needle, right there. Lock it and keep sewing two more stitch and then I unlock it. Then I twist a little bit. And keep sewing. Two stitches. And there is the corner. And now we'll do three more corners. Same thing. Beautiful double stitch. Beautiful. And I just finish right there. Pull that thread from behind and make a knot. And there is one corner right there. And there is. I just show you uh, something that you can do with a double needle uh, with a split bar machine. You can do this with a single needle machine too. But you cannot do it 
with that uh, regular double needle machine. You cannot do it. See that? Those corners of the diamond. And I show you how you can do that too. That was a little mistake in that diamond right there. But like I say, this is as an example. And there is the corner. And there is a the tap stitch too. So thank you for watching this video. The purpose of my video it is always, always to uh, motivate those uh, who are learning this beautiful trade. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. In case if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that uh, subscribe and like button and click the notification bell. When you click the notification bell, every time that I upload a new video, you will receive a notification. That way you don't miss it. So thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video.